I'm in Manchester, baby, home of Oasis, Coronation Street, and London's favourite football team. It might be completely freezing, but for the next couple of days, we're going to be standing here as Snick paint their first mural of 2018 to celebrate the launch of this year's Cities of Hope Festival, which is going to be taking place right here in Manchester later on in the year. In the meantime, I'm going to see if I can find a coffee shop to regain feeling in my fingers. My name's Doug. You're watching Fifth Wall TV. This year is the 100 year anniversary of the start of the suffragette movement so we thought it would be great to do a depiction as a tribute to that movement and to all the strong women in the world. It's the first time we've painted in Manchester, it's the first time we've actually been up this far north. It's a great city, they've had some great murals up here, they've got a real rich history of graffiti anyway. The city lends itself to the things like this because you've got beautiful walls and beautiful locations. You've got to be careful when a building's got character in regards to that you don't decimate it and completely take out what that initially has. This wall's got a lot of beautiful features already. We're going to maintain some of the brick features. We're not going to buff over the whole wall. We're going to try and play in with the architecture of it. It's a nice standalone end wall, so it's not, it's quite isolated. So it will give quite a strong impact when it's finished, hopefully. What is the plan for this year's festival? How's it all come to be? What's the vision for, for, the, for, the, for the whole thing? Um, 2018 project's coming together. Um, we've got Axel Void curating the whole project. Uh, we're just kind of the foot soldiers here in Manchester. Um, we've slowly secured most of our walls now um, and it's quite exciting. So we're going to invite nine artists here to the city. Each artist is going to paint a wall here in Manchester and they're also going to do a wall on the outskirts of Manchester. It's f for us, it's to put Manchester on the map. Um, for street art, whether you like it or dislike it, you're going to have an opinion and it's going to create some form of conversation. That's what we want to achieve from it. We're very aware of the debate around gentrification and how street art has been used. So what we want to do is we we'll paint in nine neighbourhoods. Each of the artists will work with school children or local charities in, in, in these neighbourhoods, co-designing a wall and they will also paint a wall in the city centre. So it should, be, it should be more cohesive and more people should own it. I like that as, a, as an idea. The gentrification argument's always a really tricky. Uh, it's such a huge aspect of this street art scene and, 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 and how quickly it can be used as a tool to just trigger rising housing prices. Do you, what, what do you see as the sort of solutions to combat that? Well, I, I think a couple of things. First of all is the places where you take the art and uh, the, some of the areas we're looking to go with the art are, are those areas that are just uh, cold spots. In many ways, uh, there was no-go areas where people don't want to go. So we, we're looking at areas that we want to reclaim into the city. As well as the artist painting, we will be training uh, sex workers, we'll be training people who are homeless to give tours of, of, of the street art and stuff like that. I think if you, if you want to counter gentrification, you empower those who are already there rather than look to replace them. And that's, uh, that's the beginnings of what we're looking to, to, to explore. Ultimate goal then, what would, what's, your, what's your vision for, um, uh, for Cities of Hope? We're going to be a global civic arts organisation. We're going to use street art to raise awareness of social issues and we're going to work alongside some of the best artists in the world who care about the things that we care about. How does it feel painting in an area that has such an interesting history regarding the women's rights movement? I think feminism's changed a lot over the past few years and people have always approached it differently. Um, and it's nice, I think even to this day, you know, we've been painting for, as a duo for seven years, there's still a lot of times where they don't think the strengths and I think now with all these movements happening, there's a lot more women running the scene and it's enforcing the power behind it. I've had to do the proofs in the pudding and I'm painting for days in a row in the cold and the rain and I'm not pussy it now. And the whole movement is about strength and I think it has to be strength in all fours rather than just through media and saying, I'm here, prove it, do it, don't just say me too.
Senhor. So that's it. Two days later and the weather just as bad as it was when we first got here. But somehow Nick and Laura have managed to pull this together. What a fantastic piece. How do you feel, Nick? Soaked. Yeah. Happy, man. We did it. Just fucking cold. But uh, yeah, it came out a banger. I reckon I'm happy with it. Nice. Well, <laughs> that's that, ladies and gentlemen. An exclusive insight Wait. into the mind of Nick from Snick. Laura's gone. Don't know where she is. But here we are, top of the lift, having a good time in Manchester. My name's Doug. This was Fifth Wall TV. Should we do that again? <laughs> <laughs>